Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. This is the Jeff Gordon 2014 Radiant Red Exalta Scheme uh, that ran, um, oh, where did it run? I don't think, I think it ran at Tex, hmm, I don't remember where it ran. It's supposed to have run in the round of eight, but I don't remember it running at Texas, Martinsville, or Phoenix. Um, but it's supposed to have run there, so I'm not 100% sure where this was actually run at. It's a gorgeous looking car, so we'll get into that. Uh, but first, let's take a look at the box. It's a very generic uh, 2014 box, Jeff Gordon, 24, and that's all the same. There's the render of the car, that nice red all down the front, the yellow playoff banner, yellow number on the roof, which is, was already yellow, and then a yellow splitter. Um, there you see another render of the car there, production number right there, one of 1261, and then uh, there's the rear end of the uh, Chevy SS. So, as you can see, um, on this die cast, we've got this um, this really nice looking red color. Um, so down the left side, you can see here, we've got this sparkling red all down the hood. The front end of it is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, the nose, we got that radiant red. It's a exalt a special color, and it it is special because look at that thing. It is just just amazing looking. Um, we've got the championship round of eight. You can see the yellow Gordon banner up there, the yellow number as well. Um, there's the four winner stickers. So it was after Dover. Um, we got Exalta down here. It starts to get dark and back to normal towards the back. We got Pepsi Max Exalta. Um, we got the drive to end hunger on the deck lid here, um, and then. The clear tipped spoiler from 2014. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look inside the, the rear end here. We do have our fuel cell in there. Um, we've got D'Angelo's on the rear end. And that's our Chevy SS back end. Uh, as it drive down hunger on the deck lid onto the right side. I'm wanting to say this was Martinsville just because there's no right side window in it, but it could also be Phoenix. Uh, but we got at Diecast Char 24. Um, then you got the four winter stickers up there. Um, Exalta, all this is kind of normal back here. And then you get up to the front and that radiant red color comes back. We got the 24 in yellow. We got that bright, or that sparkling red. Uh, the flames around here as well. Um, just a really good color. Um, this is a really pretty die cast. Uh, really, really good looking. Um, it's a shame I actually had to sell this one, but it's also not because there's there, I've got my Gordons that I'm going to keep, so um, I don't really need to have too many extras if I don't if I can't handle them, and this will help um, with getting some other ones. But uh, it's definitely a gorgeous die cast. So um, it's it was it definitely one of the more good looking paint schemes that ran. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the um, under the hood detail. It is the plastic block with a couple of different colors to it, but at the end of the day, it is just a block, um, not a ton to it. It's, it opens, it's got the hinges. Under the hood, we got Exalta and Chevy, so it's all there. Uh, and then the roof flaps do open as well. Um, roof flaps fit real flush, the hood fits flush, so good fitting car there. But um, as I said, at the end of the day, the whole thing about this car is, is what you see on the hood, and that's that radiant red color. It's gorgeous. Um, probably one of the best looking Jeff Gordon schemes. Yeah, it might be the best. I, I really am trying to think here if there's any better ones. Um, there's a lot of really good-looking Exalta schemes. This is this is one of the best. So, um, Anyway, if you have enjoyed this review, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. I just bought out another huge chunk of cars. So I have another about 100 cars that I got, and I'll be um, slowly going through all those reviews. I'm going to start doing a movie review Monday where I start doing movie cars on Monday. Um, and then I was going to do fast food Friday for some of the fast food cars, but I just don't have enough. It'll only work for a couple of weeks. So, uh, that one unfortunately won't last, but the, the movie Monday won't work good. Cause I got plenty of movie cars that I got to go through and, uh, show off. So I think those will be pretty fun. But, uh, anyway, if you have enjoyed the video, do all that like, comment, subscribe junk, um, and then turn on that notification bell. But, uh, this has been race grace and we'll see you in the next diecast review.